Plumbago Auriculata. I'll grow plants.org, also known as Blue Plumbago. Uh, this is can grow as climbers, vine, uh, sherb, shrub, sorry, a uh, perennial evergreen. It's a drought tolerant. It means that you can put it as a great edge plant. If it's far away, you need to mark your territory. Uh, this can be one of the edge plants that I would recommend. Uh, this is because it's very aggressive, very invasive, so you should remember it. Uh, well drained soil, very important. Uh, you can start from seeds, cuttings, plant, uh, it's easier. You have uh, several flowers color that you can choose, blue, purple or white. I would choose uh, blue because it's mostly more rare than the other colors, it just my, in my eyes. Uh, one minus that I, I think about it, that it's sticky. If you touch it, after this you're stuck, you have everywhere, uh, especially the area of the flowers, you're just stuck and there's material. Not very pleasant, uh, but it's okay. It's a great edge plant. If someone get too much next to your garden, it just suffer a little bit. You can plant it from the spring to the autumn, uh, best in the spring and autumn in a cold, a hotter climate. Major pests are white fly, mealybug, and aphids. Uh, just make it black a lot of times. The aphids because of fungal that arrive. Uh, fast growing plants, small amount of water, uh, full sun, this is optimal, can survive medium growing, uh, can survive average amount of water and half shade. You can grow it as a bonsai, sow it once, not recommendable and it's bloom from the spring to the autumn, rarely I sow it in the winter uh, but I wouldn't count that in the winter I will have so much flowers unless it's a tropical area and maybe there is, I just don't know about it. Uh, that's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course like this video. If you have any question, just ask. I hope you enjoy.